Oh my, it's been such a long time since I've been here on the server. I've been off getting consumed in the Mind Saga drug that easily sucks you in. And the last thing I did before I got sucked in over there, and I'm still sucked in over there, I'm just sneaking in a bit of time here, is I started with the, um, the thoughts of my, what do you call it? Let's call it decorated, maybe. Um, tunnel in the theme of my football team that won the grand final this year in case you're not catching up although it was probably only two minutes for you guys so i started off using the concrete and that's all nice and good but it's a bit solid i guess so a bit further down here i changed over to wool which is a hell of a lot easier to get. And I think the wool is just a bit softer, like it's got a bit of texture to it. Apart from the yellow ones, I can easily hide the lights under some carpets. So I think, I'm running out of space, but so I think what I'm gonna do is do the whole thing in wool. So let me just nick over to the shopping district and see who I can get some wool from. All right, I'm at the shopping district and a lot has changed since I've been here. My iron golem farm is, a farm shop is still here. And a couple of diamonds in there, but the massive huge shop down there that's disappeared. And I don't see anyone. So I think this area in here is like a food stall. There is no wool in there we've got sea lantern-y things up there uh, i think this was going to be a future tree shop my little bee is flying around what's this one here this is this is a repair like an xp so no wool get in it's a spy like Amazon must be delivering something. So no wool, I'm going to have to catch some sheep myself and sort of clever and make my own wool. So like we suspect that, but he's really in the wrong side of town. So I'm gonna nick back to my base, catch a couple of sheep and spend some time breeding them up. I think I saw that there's a new way of um, automating with dispensers or something or other able to shear sheep. I might suss that out, I'll be back shortly. Very quickly made this as you can tell, but if I flick that and flick it again, it shorn, shored, sheared, sheared the sheep and it the sheets stay in the dispenser. I thought I might have to put a, a thing like this to it. I might have to put a, a hopper underneath to, can you let him go past so I can shear him? To pick them up and somehow get them back in. Oh, oh, got him. Um, but that's not the case. I just need to have a stack of these things. So I remember ages and ages and ages ago, we used to have a sheep farm where they'd walk like through a conveyor belt and you know, get shorn, but you had the AFK there and manually do it. So I think I'm going to build that same sort of thing, but probably put this on because it could just be on a timer and it's only going to shear the sheep when they're there and I'm guessing it's not taking durability off these things unless it's actually used. All right, that is my little project for today. Let me race off and build something like that. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but anyway, I'm going to come back with hopefully a fully automatic sheep shearing farm. So in the end, I decided to do Zoomavoid's design. It, it is easier than having the, what is it? The vertical type that I'd seen previously, just having a horizontal one running around, a chest full of shears, uh, 
of it was full, I'd say most of them are now sitting in these or being used. And it's running around chomping them away. And look, I got a very rare pink sheep. I'm not sure how rare they are, but that's the second one I've got. I think it's the second one on this server. So if we go down here, you can see the, the wool is coming in. So excellent. So what I need to do now is dye the wool. So initially I need yellow and black. So I might dye most of them yellow and black. And then after that, I'll um, dye them back into moldy colors. And this might be the start of a new shop. This wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be making them quiet, that is. But oh, I think he's one. There is still a couple making some noise. So I'm just trying to narrow them down. But what I'm going to do after this, sorry, I thought I, I thought I had one then, is just AFK and get some, get enough wool to finish the project. So I'll probably, I'm going to go over the iron farm, make a whole stack more of the shears and maybe put an extra chest or two on top here probably i'll expand the downstairs chest as well and just let it afk overnight and get as much wool as i can and then i'll come back and we'll start finishing up the tunnel so i learned something you can only dye sheep that have wool on their back see if i click on these ones Nothing. If I click on him, my die goes down. So I've got 15 yellow and 15 black die. I'm not going to die my little pink sheep there. So that will get us the colouring I need. Just hunting around looking for these guys. And what have I done? Let's. I've gone crazy with the shears. That is full of them. That is mostly full. And there's another chest underneath them that is also full and there's hoppers full. So that is shears for days. Then I added another row underneath to store the wool in. So this is gonna run overnight and I should have enough. And as you can hear, they're all nice and quiet. So I'll have enough wool to start the project. So I'll see you tomorrow. So I've run into a slight problem with my little farm here. And for some reason, I think it's the version of the server we're running. The little clock here, the observer clock just stopped and won't start. I even rebuilt the farm because it used to be over there. I rebuilt it here and it worked for a while and then decided it's not going to do anymore. I can manually do this and it shears them. And that's not a bit, that's not much fun. So look, I think at some point I might change this out. There's obviously some problem with these and the, the version of the server that I'm running. I'm running one of the paper varieties, but I did get, this is the, 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 the slack side. But this side we got a fair bit of wool. I think it's going to be enough to get me underway. So what I might do is grab a few shulker boxes, fill them up with wool and head over and start laying out the tracks. Well, while trying to collect my wool a creeper snuck down behind me and blew up all my chests i've removed all the concrete and started putting in the wool but it is doing my eyes no good looking at black wool everywhere so i don't know if this is cheating what do you reckon i created a resource pack that turns black wool blue and that is much easier to, um, to, there you go, it's black wool, but it looks blue. It's going to be much easier on my eyes to run around placing this wool. A lot easier. So 
All right, I'm going to finish this off and we should, and then I'll go back to my other resource pack and we should have our tunnel done. So as you can see behind me, the tunnel has been finished and I am joined here, uh, being a little bit careful not to hit him with my little assistant. This is, that does say crash test piggy. So he has volunteered to go down first and we're gonna follow him down shortly after. Uh, as long as I can hit that button without hitting him. There we go, him first, us second, here we go. Down the tunnel, might have actually been a bit better without him, but we can look at it backwards. There we go. So this is what the tunnel's like, and I used to think that the minecarts went a bit faster. Maybe it's just because I'm used to I don't know, traveling in faster ways, like with ice boats and elytras and the like. But this is my tunnel. It was a long time in the making. I'm only doing this one section. We're about to get to the end. I can't see because his fat head's in the way. Yeah, we're at the end here, and I'm going back for a return trip. And he's coming with us. Okay. <laughs> So I think that will do it for this episode. It's not too long, but it did take forever. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Leave us some comments down below, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.